You need not agree with what I am saying, right? But we two are doing meditation together. I am speaking, you are not speaking, but we are listening together, your voice. This is meditation. We are listening together. The voice is coming out, we are listening. While listening, can you listen to this voice with no seeking feeling. By listening, don't try to analyze your own self and don't start condemning your own self. Don't start reacting to your own self. Just listen. Let me listen. But the mind, we have not taught the mind to listen. Is it not place it is? We have taught the mind only to react, continuously react, 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 throw, throw, throw. So we don't have the space to listen. We don't have the space to, to feel. And when you start looking at the words, this is meditation, when you start looking at the words, the words are conveying the emotions, the emotions are conveying the intentions, the intentions are really working. So this is actually mantra. The word, word has a meaning, word has an energy field. When you start meditating, you have to go beyond words. Beyond words. If I say donkey, if you take the verbal level, donkey, then your mind brings out an image about the donkey and then immediately that mind which has created an image about donkey reacts to the word donkey. Please, please go, go into the beauty of it. If our relationship has a deeper level understanding, even if I use the word donkey, the donkey does not give the donkey image to you at that time. It is not, if an outsider call you donkey, we work at the verbal level and we react. How dare you call me donkey? But if I call you donkey or if you call me donkey, it doesn't bring the same thing. You know, Guruji is not. <coughs> intentionally using this word donkey. Please see the beauty of it. So it is not the word that is communicating. It is not, how can the word communicate? Tell me. The word donkey. When somebody else outside used, you reacted. When I use, no. And if your own kid uses, mommy, you are like a donkey. Then the mommy hugs the child. Because at least one person has realized what I <laughs> go, go into this. So all the confusions, reactions, problems are at this level only because we don't know the language. That's why the great saints, they did not speak. They don't speak. Silently they used to communicate. For example, great master like Ramana. People used to sit in front of Ramana with the tons and tons of questions. They used to come out with a great joy. All the questions did dissolve. Even now, you know, there are many masters like that. When you sit in front of such people, where the energy is at the zero velocity, all your questions 
doubts are answered not verbally not verbally so what is what is a sadhana sadhana means culturing can i culture my body can i culture my mind can i culture my voice can i culture my emotions so that all the body the mind the emotion all speak only one thing that is it is not me it is you o lord this is samarpana this is pranidhana it is not me it is not my voice o lord it is your voice it is not my action it is your action it should not be a hypocritical posture it has to be a true posture then in that case my responsibility here is tremendous so i have to find out whether it is my voice or lord's voice i can easily make out whether whether it is coming from me or coming from somewhere else when it comes from there then i am not there only the bliss is there it does not leave any scar in the mind it does not leave any scar it does not leave, leave any mark if it is my voice then after talking the subtle mind the subconscious mind gets into analysis postpartum all those things why did i talk like this why did i do when there is you and me there is integrity please listen i know you have questions listen just listen listen by listening you are going to get the answer the, the reality is such when we use the language there has to be you and me but deep inside there is no you there is no me once when we reach that level it is something different since we have not reached that level still you and me is there because the me is very strong and i am trying to retain this me this me where the me is there i always see you and the me is not there there is no you but understand at the at the physical plane of reality there are two so at the physical plane of reality vaita has to be there my body and your body has to be there because the whole entire world is designed like that but the prana which we are using is not my prana or your prana but it is prana <coughs> we two are sitting here if my mind is empty and your mind is empty if there are no selfish desires or intentions then there is only one voice i see you directly you see me directly even though we two are sitting separately we are not sitting separately i can easily make out what is happening in you and if your mind is also at zero level you can easily make out what is happening in my mind that's why when we go to meet you with enough people who have done little bit sadhana they can easily read the mind this is what's happening the people you know they need not explain the whole thing they need not explain just your presence itself is enough 
I can easily make out what kind of vibration you have. So the entire pranidhana is how I can make this voice the voice of the Lord. How I can integrate the whole thing. It may take years and months and days and hours and for great yogis, seconds. This is what I was telling in the inaugural session that the perseverance is the greatest energy. How I can pursue stamina, kshamata, <clears throat> let me, let me take it, let me receive it, let me hold it. This is called a dharana. In Ashtanga Yoga, dharana means let me hold it. Let me not move away from it, let me hold it. Say somebody insulted me, the pain is there, the, the hurt is there, let me hold that hurt and let me look at that hurt. This is meditation. Not merely chanting some mantra and closing the eyes and doing something. So when you start sitting with your own self, all the suppressed things, energy fields, they start surfacing. They start surfacing. Now, do I have the energy, patience, space, intelligence to look at them? Radhe.